Hello, everyone, and welcome to Start to Finish. We're telling lies. My name is Matt Boyer. I'm kind of shook right now. I'm kind of shook, because I think this game might be timed. The achievement I got was like, oh, make it past 1 a.m. And I'm also kind of like, can that, can, can I not? Can I get like, are they gonna, are they gonna kill me if something happens? I don't know. All right, well, let's learn about, I have my note here saying fortune favors the bold. No. Ruds, it's at the end. Right, I mean, uh, fortune favors the bold, right? What about you, Eric? Are you on board with this? Are you on board with the bridge? I want to do this. Thank you. I've got this. Everybody. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. David, Eric, why don't you guys go outside? Oh, it's like... It's like they didn't go along with it. Alright. Alright, so that is... 4, 15, oh, 18, not 08. Is when... The mission... Pitch on blowing up the bridge is made. I need to get earlier in this conversation. Tom. No. Here's later that same day. All right, let's watch this one. Look. Three storms out. Cunt Tom, he totally screwed me and made hey. me out to look like a lunatic. Wait, what do you mean you heard? Wait, you knew? Is, is this because of Simon? This is because of Simon, huh? Stop picking up people! Okay, but how do I recover this with my group? Are you, you, are you, you're pulling, are you pulling me out? Are you pulling me out? Fuck. Listen to me. We're not done here, okay? There is more. We are not done. This is definitely something. Definitely something. Simon. Ah! 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 No. I'm fine. Who's the man with the, with the pectorals? I don't know for certain that this is Karen. Unless I'm... Oh, boy. Karen has kind of a, a prominent mole. I didn't see one here on our person. Oh, watch it anyway, Matt. Find out. You're trying to find a way to that beginning of that conversation. Ratted on here, that Simon guy. Anyway, I can't let this happen to you again, so. No, that is the last thing that I want, okay, Ava? No. No, listen, I am running in order to save you. Can you not see that? Okay? Don't, don't be naive right now. Come on, Ava. Naive could be a word. Naive is definitely a word. That's Listen, just factual. I, I need you to do me a favor, okay? I, I need you to, uh... I, I need you to go to the medicine cabinet, okay? Um... Yeah. In the in in the bathroom, okay. Just uh, just go there. Just, just go there, okay. There's a there's a, a there's a false back to the mirror. Just pull the panel aside, okay. I don't know if you're supposed to bring your person. This she's part of your cover. I didn't. You you fucked up, David. 
what I'm saying. Yeah, I, uh... I need okay, the other I, half of this I, I conversation. Know, I know you said you, um, you wanted a home birth, but... Will you just, will you just look at St. Joe's? You know, just take the tour and, um... Uh-oh. Uh I, I, I made a... I made a reservation for you, okay? You know, I'd been thinking about searching on the word pregnant, but I didn't think I was going to get something like that. All right. Um, what was the word I wanted to look at? Naive. Oh, you mother. Oh, it's just five results. Okay. Bathroom? That's why no, that's not gonna be it. Medicine cabinet. Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, she's she's a crying. That's I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. Why? I don't. I don't need this one. This is gonna. This is gonna slow me down. It's gonna slow me down. Just slow me down. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm pregnant. What? I mean, that's, that's in... That's in, that's incredible. Yeah? Yeah, that's... Wait, how, um... How long, how long have you known? This could be your second chance. But we can do this together. We have to do this together, right? Second chance for what? Yeah. And yeah, having a good yeah, family? Bad stop drawing conclusions. There can, there can be other people who can sacrifice themselves for the cause. Only you can be a father to this child. You want to change the world, I get it, yeah, but for who? This is who. Yeah, okay, Ava. We have to, we have to think this through, okay? What's I to think it about? Yeah, no, I'm saying we have to think this through. I thought it through, trust me. David, I was supposed to be something special. Okay, I... My music, I was, I was supposed to be a big deal, but this, Eric, everybody, you know, I, I, um, I was drawn to them because they were different, because they wanted to change the world, you know? My music's, it's not good enough. I'm never gonna be famous. I've learned that maybe there's nothing wrong with being ordinary. Ordinary can be magical. I'm falling in love with you, David. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. This feels right. Um. Oh, boy. Ava, 
I love you. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I mean, this is... This is everything to me. Um, it really is true. I don't uh, believe you at all. Uh, but I, I know that I know that life comes at, at you in waves. Oh, a sentence um, started with "but." You know we're in for a good time. It's possible to miss out on your chance, and I've definitely, I've definitely missed out on my chances before, and I'm not going to do that again. I, ha I have to be a part of this. I have to. Why is this so important? Because Ava. Okay. It's. Ava, I'm, um... Oh, what are you gonna say? What are you going to say? Will you, will you just trust me that it is? Oh, boy. Please. Please, Ava. We're having a baby, David. I know. Do you? This is okay. I take back all the things I said about liking David. You 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 done fucked up, son. I think I've got to, I don't want to watch this one, but I think I've got to watch this one. Oh, this is going to be a twist. You woke up and you were gone. No, no, I'm off coffee. Just hurry back. All these hormones are making me super horny. I'm going to go to the center of my tits already. Even better, put yourself right now. When did you become such a prude? Come on, I'm doing it. I've been thinking about you all morning. Oh, this. Imagine I'm there in the passenger seat, just don't let me fly. You know, I know you're hard, babe. Come on, Pookie, come on. <laughs> oh, the end of this. It's gonna be so bad. David, there's someone in the apartment. it cuts off we got multiple people going on here all of these happening well fidelity bravery integrity terrible coffee that was that's a non sequitur not gonna learn what that one's about 
Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. We are going back to the beginning of this one. This is that morning. Nah, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. What you did yesterday was totally unprofessional. You could have blown up the whole operation. No, Mike does not understand the situation on the ground. No, I don't. Okay, if you come over here, someone is gonna smell a rat. Okay, do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, what, what are you implying? Hmm? Just, uh, just stuff that is totally different. Okay, what, so, wait, what are you saying? Are you threatening me? Is that a threat? Hmm? Is that a threat? Because the Bureau will kill the story. What, what we do is protected. You get it? Uh, do I ask you about your family? Hmm? Yeah. Listen, we're gonna meet at a diner off the highway at Bellevue Lake in one hour. We're gonna talk, and if anyone sees us, you're gonna slap me and storm out. Do you get it? Yeah. Well, fidelity, bravery, integrity, terrible coffee. That's... I'm glad I watched it. Um, next one. I am not sure I know who this is. I see a bunch of data back there, though. I see a bunch of data back there, though. It's a bunch of data. Hey, hon. The operation is to extract you and give you a credible story. Personal drama is one way to do that. Mike has more experience of this stuff in his little pinky than we do in our whole bodies, okay? He has a long perspective. He sees the future. Do you want to continue this at your apartment? Listen, I'm sympathetic. It's hard to build up a cover like this and then say goodbye to it. Or... Her. Do you know how many people I've slept with to establish a cover story? I've been this close to lodging an internal complaint on this mission, but I don't want to slow my career down and Mike's the kingmaker. If the public ever caught wind of what we've been doing here, is that what it'll take to get you out? <laughs> Does Emma know you're screwing your mark? Oh, I don't have one, David. Ambitious female agents don't get to tick that box. That was in response to the family bit. Bellevue Lake. That place has terrible coffee. Fidelity, integrity, bravery, terrible coffee. So they were saying that together. Okay, we've got a couple things here. We've got... I see phase two. I see black kite. I think I'd stay right there. Got a little crown on him. Um, black, black kite. Oh, we got a couple things. These are all pretty short, though. Black kite. Well, you just make sure they stay out of the way of the professional, okay? Okay. Listen, you got a lot of manpower through Black Kite. Hi, Mike. Okay. I've found them to be highly professional, and their procedures are very thorough. Hmm. Okay. That didn't really tell me much. Works for Black Kite Lodge. 
military contractor. Okay. What is this? Chris. Hey, look, guys, come on. Let's talk about this, okay? So this is true, then, what he's telling us right now. What the fuck, Chris? Yeah, yeah, see? Everybody, this is Simon McMillan, okay? He is a he is an employee of Black Kite, sent on behalf of Prosperin, okay, to spy on our meetings. You are trying um. to inform on our constitutionally protected activities, pal. It's called entrapment. You cut. And Whoa. I had you over for dinner. In my home! Hey, hey, get away from me. Hey, hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hey, why are you? Hey, look, he doesn't have a wire, guys. He doesn't have a wire. He's probably recording us on his phone. Get his phone. Get his phone. David. Motherfucker. Hey, look, I can explain. All right? I am no traitor. Who are you? Okay. Okay. This is... Black Kite changed the plan. They decided to go deeper on Greenstorm. Is that they Mike? share their intel. It's a good plan. He's, he's got a nice place. Very modern. We're all adults. This is a strategic decision we made together. You don't. We're putting together the paperwork right now to round up the group and get you some scalps. This was always a finite operation. It's not a lifestyle. All right, just start working on your exit plan. You need to get your head back in the game. So, David, an FBI agent, sent in to figure out what is going on with this Green, oh, Green This, uh, Green Storm thing. Um, Ava is part of the group. Who's Reordan? earlier in the day. David, this is Riordan. She's a member of a group called Greenstorm. Come on, man. No introduction, David. <laughs> Riordan, how are you? You said you thought we might need some help. Yep, some help and some guidance. Hi. Let's hear it. Okay. Um, well, Prosper and Sovereign Pipeline, as you know, means to supply the Midwest with gas at a rate of 500 pounds per square inch, right? It's high pressure highway with natural gas screaming through our communities, and it's nearly finished. And we know they're getting worried because they're sending spies into our group. We know this. But they're winning. So I've been trying to think of a solution. Uh, this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, he does not look you impressed. Look right here. Okay, this is a major section of the pipeline that's yet to be started. And what makes this area unique and why it's yet to be developed is that access to it's tricky, okay? There are only uh, two roads that can support the construction traffic, and they're both fed into this highway here, all right? This is Highway 75, and that highway crosses that bridge right there. That's the Salisbury Bridge. It spans the Sally River to the tune of 2,000 square feet. So, if we shut that bridge down, and they would have to reroute all of this construction traffic all the way around to this bridge up here, okay? This would set them back months. I mean, this would be a huge blow financially. It's nice work. Thanks. You want to put this all on your own? Uh, well, me, Ava, and of course, Eric here pointed out that we are a little short on that. I said it would only work if we had an organization behind it. I've done stuff like this, but it's never fun. We tried to shut down construction in Sandusfield. 
we suspended ourselves over the highway for two days, the state cops actually lit a fire under me. Whoa. They like to burn witches in Massachusetts. Whoa. I, I remember watching that trial on TV. When you poured that glass of water over that CEO's head, it was a big deal. The theatrics play well on the news. Well, we're looking for a little more in theatrics. We are looking to do real damage to Boston. Sure, but how long do you think you can hold the bridge? Well, Half the cops now are ex-forces. They treat this stuff like it's Fallujah. You ever done anything like this before? How serious are you? Okay, Reed. I said I vouch for the guy, and I meant it. Yeah, and I do too. I'm sure you do, sweetie. I can tell by that look in your eye. Okay, Reed. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some fresh air. on the show to impress the pretty young activist. Hey, David. He's a good guy. Hey, how long have you known him? Long enough. I know what she sees in him, but you? Look, he's serious, he's loyal, and he's not afraid of action. Honestly, sometimes it kind of scares me. He nearly killed Peter. I hate Peter. Okay, well, there you go. That's not, that's something to... We all hate Peter. All right, so you gotta help us in that. Hmm? I'll take you to meet the others at Convergence. Fantastic. They'll hear you out. But let's talk about the details outside. Close this. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, okay. So this is the, right before the pitch. Yeah, Eric and I are meeting Riordan in about an hour. Greenstorm Inner Circle. And okay, she's with Greenstorm. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of freaking out. I really wish you were here. No, nah, there's no chance of that because they take the security so serious with these pat downs and dead drops. But I, I really mean it. I wish you were here. The sleeping bag is way too big for one. Really? I feel like I can barely hear noise wow. on the other side true now. child of the resistance. Could be other people where he is. Wow, you're big. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Um, we should. Uh, I just... Alba's mother is... Well, she, you know, she doesn't know yet, so... You've got a story that that's your ex as opposed to your actual wife. Have you, uh, have you thought of more about names? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I, I hate my name. Let's get it out of there. Yeah, I've always wanted to change it. So. David, you good? Yeah, I'll be right up. Uh, I gotta go. It's game time. Wish me luck. I love you. And Jane. James. Whatever. Okay. Okay, that's okay. This is after. We're moving to. David, where the hell are you? Where are you? Your field supervisor tells me you haven't commenced your exit plan. Oh, this is right before. We're moving to the second phase. Soon we're going to round up all your Detroit friends. Everyone was on that boat. Okay, this is going to look like a well-organized operation. She was on the boat. It helps have a pretty face in the lineup. Remind the public the terrorists come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, boy. 
you need to start following protocol. No. Listen. Listen to me, David. Okay? We are the ones upholding law and order. We're the ones who keep the darkness back. The irony of this job is that to uphold those laws, we're the ones who sometimes have to bend them. Okay? We bend them, we don't break them. I've been doing this for a long time, and I have made my men contort and twist themselves in all manner of ways. But none of them have broken. Please don't be the first. Uh. Ah. Jesus, your fucking cat. I'm kitty. Okay, no kitty. I don't want to play. I don't want to play solitaire. I don't want to play solitaire. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> I love it. Oh, weird. No results. Oh, weird. Achievement. This is the same day. Okay, I'll review the exit plan. It's just that I have that conversation. And it's just that. Okay, I don't think I'm going to learn too much from that. I don't even know what I'm trying to learn. Um, which is entertaining. That I don't quite know what I'm trying to do here. Um, maybe two people named Steven? Search on Doctor. Doctor Steven. That's no, that's that's just the other half of that conversation. Is he at her place? He might be. That doesn't look like his dec decor. Are you are you calling are you calling your kid from the woman that you are not supposed to be with David? Oh David, I liked you at one point. When does he stop talking to Karen. Oh boy. Um Bridge. Search on bridge. I've watched all the bridge ones. I don't have any idea what that achievement just was. I'll find out later. Um Is who's who's Emma? Who's Karen? Maybe you got nothing to feel guilty about, Emma. Get the shit kicked out of you. Jesus. Yeah, and I don't think you're picking up on how bad it's gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you shouldn't have left them alone. This is really disorienting. Please stand still. Oh, 
I keep fighting. <sighs> Love you. The thing is, this guy is going to be telling people that kind of nonsense everywhere. You don't know Emma like I do. Okay, Emma is... She's not as tough as she thinks she is. You are such a Emma good husband. Emma is wife. You... Emma is wife. Emma is wife. Okay. 16 records. I, I, no, no, that's, that's not. I thought this might get some results. Well, this is well after. Sorry. Who is the creepo? Okay, yep. Fuck you. Melissa? Melissa isn't my real name. But I know yours is David. When a man shares Kim... I always record it as a safety precaution and sometimes a big earner if they deserve blackmail. Bank managers really don't want their wives to see their perverted emails. I have all your sessions saved on a hard drive under federal agent David. You ever can with me again. I will send them to your bosses. I will sell them to whatever newspaper pays the most. I think we're done here. Okay. Federal agent. For uh, extorting a federal agent, huh? right? Uh. That's supposed to scare me. I don't want to be here. You want to talk about this in court? You think I tell dirty stories on my show? Wait till I get on the stand. I don't want to be here. I need you to delete the files, Max. Okay? Max. Maxine. Maxine Williams, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do your parents know what you do? Maxine Williams? Oh, you fucker. Now who's trying to blackmail who? What is... 
wrong with this guy? Hey, Max. Mm -hmm. You're gonna delete these files. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> what? Ohio is a stand your ground state. Yet. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh! Fuck! You fucking you bitch! You shot me! You crazy! I sent those videos Fuck. yesterday. Hmm? <laughs> It'll take about a week before they can verify who you are, what you said. Start working on your story now. Are you, are you I'm bleeding here, okay? Don't worry. I rang the cops before I let you in. They'll be here soon and they can take you to the ER. Oh. <laughs> I hate law enforcement guys. I can't believe I invited a bunch of them over. I better put some proper clothes on. Sam, are you okay? In here? No one moves! Officers, officers, I'm, I'm so glad that you're here. He, he broke into my house and tried to attack me. Sir, don't move! Okay. Sir! I am, I am reaching for a badge. I'm a federal agent, okay? Okay? Do you see that? Oh, 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 how much does the elevator and stuff go? We're back in this is so the arrest. I thought we'd be looking at stuff. This is this is seven months later. I'm gonna. Run a marathon now, Maxine. Not that, that matters. Rehab? I wanna... I wanna dedicate this act to my children, Alba and Star. I just... I only wish that the two of you grow up to find a world that's a little bit better than the one I'm leaving. Oh, fuck. Still in the boat? Was he in the boat? Are you about to jump off the boat? Are you gonna drown yourself at sea? Please don't do that. Yeah, some warden's going up when I post this.
Water is life. Say no to the sovereign pipeline. <laughs> okay. Water is life. <laughs> so it's just from their protest stuff. It's four in the morning, babe. Sorry. I don't have much time. Four in the morning? What do you mean I don't have much time? Who am I texting? Oh boy. Right, him just saying it again. Water is life. Right, hit me up, A squared friends. A squared. Uh, hmm. Boy. Ah. Uh, found dead. Don't like searching these. Don't like this. No, we murdered him, and it wasn't to protect me. And you've never laid. Wait, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Hang on. We're going back. We're going back. We gotta watch this entire thing. We gotta watch this entire thing. I wasn't finished. I need you to understand the rules going forward. She managed just fine without you for a year. Recitals, first teeth, you were fine missing all that. How have you protected me? Go on, say it. You killed a man. No, we murdered him and it wasn't to protect me. What? And you've never laid a hand on me. Yeah, well, you didn't have to, did you? Because that's what the gun and the badge are for. What's happening? You really earned your wings that day. Didn't you? You got your gun off. You had your first blood. They really toasted you back at the field office for that one. Because I can. waited in your car outside before you came in. I never told you that, but I want you to know that I knew. Found the other side of it. I've always I found the other side of it. I thought you s shaved. I thought you did. Alba needs me. Okay, you need me. I've always protected you. Just, just stop. It was a clean shooting. 
Yeah, I was thinking about searching that myself. Um, okay. I gotta do something to break up the monotony. Alright, that's not as interesting. No, we're not having anything fun here anymore. Boat. Who are these people? Well, uh, hopefully you work on more than a boat. Amy needs the right man to help her settle down. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's actually meeting her parents on and on on the phone. Making my girl smile, so that's all that matters. You know she's gonna be famous one day. Don't be bashful, you have a beautiful voice. <laughs> oh, okay, sweetheart, I love you so much. And it's so good to see you so happy. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Oh, baby picture. Nice meeting you. I mean, the boat's completely cleaned. The paper trail has David Jones as the owner for the last three years. I had them name it the Little Mermaid. All the Disney references. Search more Disney names. It's understood. The adrenaline's there to help you focus. Look, our ability to plan and execute is what we do best. It's what makes us superior. Michael Campbell. Got a full name on him now. Michael Campbell. Any other references to uh, just them talking to each other about a boat, probably. Ah. Uh... This is after the arrest. I don't want to watch this. Conceived under the stars. Big? Oh, wait, no. It's... Oh, 25, 25, 15. That's okay. Different. I was looking at the wrong time. We're fine. Uh, this doesn't seem good. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? 
good, yeah. <laughs> nice weather, huh? Yeah, it's gorgeous, huh? That's a that's cute baby. What's her name? Oh, her name is Star. Star? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, Star. That's a, that's a nice <laughs> name. It's a really beautiful baby. Hey, 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 hey. Do you mind not... Sorry. Excuse me, sir. David! I told you to stay away. Eva, I just wanted to see you, okay? No, no, you don't get to see her. Listen to me, this is a public place, okay? Look, I can... Get away before I call the Ava, police. I want to I wanna help you, okay? Ava, I want to help you. Go. Officer! Please. Ava, come Officer, on! Officer, this man is bothering us. Please. Go tell. Oh. So... What I've kind of tracked into here is that this is the story of how David fucking ruined his entire goddamn life. And while I'm not going to say that the stuff around him wasn't maybe contributing to it, it is through the decisions that he has made. And... And that sucks for him. Hmm. This is well after. This young FBI agent and Emma meets him at work too where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient okay we're rewinding this is how we're ending we gotta watch this entire thing he's having a time i'm not looking at the words at the bottom we gotta see this whole thing all the way through I think Emma's going to have a time here. All right. You know, her story went some weird places, too. I don't think it went this weird. Oops. Um, let's fast forward a little bit. Get to the good stuff. Eva has been playing happy families. That's your baddie house. She says you live there now with your baddie family. Oh, God. <laughs> Kids are smart. Hey, let's play dolls. Okay, let's play dolls. This is Emma. She's a 25 year old nurse. Here's Paul. He's an accountant. He wanted to be a professional tennis player, but he was only the 10th best tennis player in his state. So sometimes he hits people to make himself feel like he still has that killer serve. Cool. Emma meets Paul at work when he comes in to have a torn wrist ligament looked at. This is David. He's an he upsetting is a mustache. Gorgeous young FBI agent. And Emma meets him at work too, where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient in the ER calls her a bitch. 
So Emma stops dating Paul. She's dating David now. But Paul keeps getting drunk and calling Emma up and telling her that he loves her and sometimes that he hates her. And so David, wait a second. Ah, yeah. I think Emma's had a couple. Uh, that's David a... starts watching over Emma's apartment. Yeah? Every night after they go on a date, the handsome FBI agent sits outside in his car and watches over her while she sleeps. Very romantic. Is it? David doesn't know that Emma knows this. Is it? And she doesn't tell him. But, you know, it does help her sleep at night. She feels, she feels safe. That's good. So, one night, after they go out for ice cream, Paul calls, says he wants to come over. And Emma tells him to come, thinking that David will scare Paul off, and that will be that. But when Paul turns up, David waits in the car. And when Emma goes to answer the door, Paul pushes his way in. He argues with her and he cries and he rants and he raves. And Emma gives him a hug because she's a nurse and that's what nurses do when men cry. And that's when David gets out of his car and comes into the apartment with his pistol drawn. Oh. And when he opens the door and he sees Paul and Emma, he doesn't look handsome anymore. He looks angry. Paul steps back and he looks scared. And Emma looks scared too. And David fires his pistol and he shoots Paul in the lung. It takes Paul about 10 minutes to die. Emma could have helped stop the bleeding and maybe he could have lived, but David tells her not to. It was unlikely that Paul would have made it. And sometimes David points out it's better just to let the bad guys die. After watching a guy bleed out together, they get married. Mm. That helps make things make sense. Even so, Emma is sure that she'll be scared of David forever and ever. You waited because you wanted to save me. You wanted to be a fucking knight in shining armor. You look so small on the screen. I'm not scared of you anymore.